morning y'all and welcome to another vlog i'm sydney if you're new here i just got home from the gym showered and put on this outfit for today how cute is this we love a little what is this like peachy moment i guess uh here's what we've got going on today we have flooring for our home gym getting delivered which i'm super excited about um actually like we ordered it thinking they gave us like a range it was like the 15th through the 30th and today is the 26th so kind of just been holding on tight and we got an email last night and I think Jay said that they didn't even give us really a time range so we don't really know exactly when they're going to get delivered but they are I think it said it's like 400 pounds or something like that of rubber flooring and Jay is convinced that he is going to do it all himself so we're gonna I mean obviously I'll help wherever I can not I have no clue he's like I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos um, and, and when this man sets his mind to something, he does it himself. He really does. <laughs> and hey, if we can get it done ourselves, that sounds ideal. I have no idea. I have no idea what this is going to come in like. I He ordered all the floor, and so I haven't even seen. But I know that we both want something that's not like the individual little squares and that like interlock, inner, you know, like that. So I am really excited to see how that turns out. And then that will be the process of making a home gym in our garage, excited for that. And I have a couple calls today also. We're gonna just ignore this fingernail, okay? I have a couple calls today. I am gonna be doing client check-ins. Nothing super crazy going on today, but I just figured I would take you guys through the next couple days. This morning's workout was hamstrings and glutes. So I had a really good workout feel ready for a good week. Last week my workouts were very eh. Like my mom was in town. We were doing all sorts of stuff and I just don't feel like I got into a really good groove like the end of the week prior and then all last week I was just kind of floating. Didn't really have solid workouts so this week. This week's the week. Here's breakfast. Jay got me hooked on his typical breakfast which is toast, some egg whites, and he is the master of guacamole. All right, you Jay? <laughs> the master. I just got back from going on a walk really quick. I was like, I'm gonna split up my computer work whenever I can um, to get a little bit of a walk. Thank goodness for finally living in a neighborhood. That's like my favorite thing about living in a neighborhood is that it's walkable. And like, I just walked quick little, quick little walk and then I'm gonna get back to it. I had my lunch going in the air fryer and it is hotter than it's hotter than heck right now. So the middle of the day, a little bit brutal, even for a short walk, I'm sweating my butt off. But it has been so stormy here. I'm like, I'm gonna take advantage when it's not raining. Who knows, it can like torrential downpour. Jay and I yesterday, we were like, okay, let's go on a walk, putting my shoes on, thunder. <laughs> like it is definitely rainy season right now here. But I'm making lunch right now. I'm doing uh, some cod, some veggies, cauliflower rice, and I think I did peppers, green beans, sweet potato. Yeah, sweet potato still gotta go in the air fryer because I had three different things going, but I'm going to probably just eat that separate afterwards. <sighs> Little update, sweaty update. We've got some Amazon packages to open, my friends. We sure do. Jay was like, you know whose name is on them? Not mine. <laughs> Are you gonna help me? That, oh, I thought you were bringing over the, bringing over the box cutter, huh? I thought you were excited for an unboxing moment. Your favorite time. Do this. Catch. But uh-uh. I'm not good at I do not have good hand-eye coordination. Why does it say July 11th and 12th? Because Amazon Prime Day. 11th and 12th. Oh yeah. I ordered some basics. Mm. Lots of it's home stuff though. A lot of that is home stuff. Just not this. <laughs> okay, so I got a plain gray tank because I love wearing these with like some lounge shorts. And then this one, some people were saying that it's a skim dupe. We shall see. 
Mmm, doesn't really feel like a skim soup to me. No. Like a little bit more sheerish. It's not cold. Cold? Skims is cold to the touch. Is it? It's like silky. Silky. This is like a little bit, I mean it still looks like a good basic, we'll just have to try it on. It's just not like, Skims is like compressive, but also it's like cottony, like it doesn't have that like shiny type feel. Or at least the ones I have, I don't know. And then I got some rings from Gorhana, Gorjana, whatever, that's what all of my basic rings are, and I wanted some more simple gold ones to put on here for a little stack. Here's what I have so far. This one's just from Revolve, and then these two are from Gorana, and then this is the David Yerman one. Gorana. Gorana, Gorana. Oh, this is over the shower hooks, I think. So we wanted some hooks for the shower to have like the towels hang on and like robe and whatnot. But the ones I've tried, they seemed like they were like rubbing a little bit too much on the glass. These definitely are not as thin. So they should work. What do you think about the looks of these? I like them. Give it a go around. And then this is, oh, a throw blanket. I think this is for bedroom. Oh, yeah. We're really out here trying to figure out the whole primary bedroom bedding situation, but here's a throw that I think I'm going to use for some layering. That's a good color, wouldn't you say? Perfect. Some baskets for the office. I actually wanted these to be a lot bigger than what they are, so I'm gonna have to play around with these. They might still work, but hopefully they work because we got four of them. <laughs> A taco holder. Let's go. I know. I'm excited. We've got to do taco night tomorrow night. Okay. Taco Tuesday. Oh, yeah. That's such a good idea. Yep. That's going to be awesome. The OGs remember back in Tuscaloosa, I would make tacos almost every single night and I had taco holders and I don't know how I lost them in the move or why I would not have brought them. But it was a much needed purchase. We've talked about these a couple of times, haven't we? Okay, so this is that same exact kind as these, or is that shirt? And so we'll just have to try those on. I just wanted like a good couple basics. And I think this is the same brand too, maybe. No, this one actually feels really, really good. Okay, just a plain white basic tee. Q-tips. Q-tips. Years. Well, I get makeup right there, you know? Yeah, clean them out. Okay, so you know how they say that like, Q-tips are bad for your ears? Mm -hmm. Are they or are they not? Just They're not? shove them down your ear canal. Because I did them for like my entire life, I used them. And then I started hearing that they're not good for your ears, but I'm like, I feel like that's so gross to not clean your ears out. Okay, well that concludes the Amazon haul, y'all. Perfect. <laughs> Here's dinner tonight. I was actually gonna do chicken and then I decided that I wanted more seafood. Been on a seafood kick lately. I strayed for a while and was doing lots of ground turkey, but we're back on our fish kick. More avocado and now we've got some little broccolini. Y'all, Jay and I just went on a walk and Jay, I said, have you ever gone hunting before? He goes, I've been hot. He's also trying to kill a fly in here right now. That's all he can look at. It's all he's trying to do. I said, have you ever been hunting? He said hog hunting. Continues to convince me he's been hog hunting. I'm like, what even hog is that? Hog hunting, I don't know, caught them in gators. I yeah, he said gators too. It's my bare hands. I really have no, no cap. Why, why did you catch a gator? Uh, out in the airboat with the boys. <laughs> Bruce, throw him back. Thought it was a good idea to. <laughs> well, y'all, we actually saw a gator on our walk tonight. And I about got caught him. And Jay said that was a six foot gator. That was not six foot. It was probably five, four. Five, four. 
No, four or five foot. Okay. <laughs> five foot, four inches. He looked. I could see base. You couldn't even see his body. You literally could just see his head. His head. Good morning, y'all. I'm about to go on a little morning walk. Look how fun this outfit is. I'm about to throw a t-shirt on over top, so it's not going to be as cute. Because I don't really want to walk outside in a sports bra right now. Because I don't even know, one, what temperature it is. And also, you know, I just feel a little more comfy with a t-shirt on. And I've got my hokas on. I'm going to do a little walk and then come back and get ready to go to workout class. So, good morning. Happy Tuesday, guys. That just reminded me of cup stacking. Did you guys do cup stacking in elementary school? <laughs> Did you guys do cup stacking in elementary school gym class? Yeah, I know, like looking back, why the heck were we doing that? In gym class. We should get some red cups to do it. We should cup stack? <laughs> okay, I mean, I was not very good at it in the third grade, so. <laughs> Were you good at it? Yeah, You're good at everything, okay. <laughs> oh. Careful, with a head that size, you might not make it through the doorway. We're back. I was just really humbled by that. Yes. Yeah. I was like, okay, the first one back is gonna be metabolic day. Are we joking? <laughs> Y'all, we just got our nails done. <laughs> of course, it's always this nail. Okay, that was humbling, but that was so good. I just did a camp class with Kenzie and Glenn was our instructor. He's like the most brutal instructor at camp. He's definitely our favorite instructor. I love him. And uh, I asked Jay, I'm like, hey, do you want to go to a camp class this morning? Kenzie and I are going. And he's like, I've got my run this morning. But if I would have told him that it was Glenn, he would have said, yeah, absolutely not. Because Glenn, Glenn kicks our butt. So anytime I say like, hey, you want to do a spin class? He's like, is Glenn teaching? But this one was endurance. And it kind of gives me the same vibe as berries and orange theory. Like you've got a weight side and also some tread. And it was lots of sprints, ball slams, mountain climbers, all the things today. Bulgarian split squats, thrusters. I mean, it was, it was a really good workout. So I'm about to change, rinse off, and then I have my lash appointment. So I will catch you on a little bit. My lash is done, they look fabulous, and now I'm headed to go get my nails done. I don't actually know the color that I did last time. They are kind of like a pinkyish nude type color, more of like a neutral pink type color. I'm thinking probably like a milky white color this time, funny bunny. I was gonna do like a French tip type look, but I think I'm gonna put that one off until the next time I get my nails done, cause that's gonna be like for a vacation. I think that would be, yeah, that'd be a vacation time. So I am not gonna, I don't think that I wanna do French manicure like a couple times in a row. So I think I'm gonna do like a neutral color and then next time maybe a French manicure. It's been so long since I've done like French tips, but I love them and I think they look like very classy. Nails are complete. Wow, they look so good. I haven't done like a white bubble bath or funny bunny type vibe in so long. You guys know that was my favorite for so, so long. And I just think they look absolutely 
Stunning. A man that I get home, I'm starving after all my appointments. A ninja creamy waiting on me. It's already made. The ninja creamy's already put away. You, you were ready. <laughs> An angel. After 500 days of saying that Jay and I need to go to T-Mobile to get the phone situation taken care of, we finally got the phone situation taken care of. Jay got a new phone, he got the 14 Pro Max, and then I, I knew I had uh, insurance on my phone because I've made the mistake every time before with phones that I have not gotten insurance. Oh, my back hurts. And I was told when I called, they were like, you don't have insurance. But then I asked in there and they said I did. So I actually have a new phone. I just ordered like a replacement phone. It was only $29 with insurance. So that will be replaced because the back of my phone is shattered. Do you guys remember however long ago when I put a different case on it? I should have known. Do not stray from protective phone cases. I went to Publix and got some stuff. My friend Jeannie was making these the other night and for 14 of these, or 13 of these, 230 calories, 31 carb, five fat, and 13 protein. Pretty dang good because I love some like uh, gyozas, wontons, what are they called, pot sticker type things. And then I also got a couple other things from Publix, just like normal, I got avocado because we have five million avocados from Sam's Club, but none of them are ready to eat. So we had to get a couple more. Some rice, some syrup, some bread, egg whites. And I also picked up my prescription from Publix. So that's where we've been for a little bit, about to make some dinner. I actually just had some factor meals come in, which that came in handy because I was saying on the way home, I'm like, I really do not feel like cooking right now. I don't feel like cooking. So I'm about to open up that box, but first I'm gonna put these couple groceries away and then we will make something to eat. All right, I'm opening my factor box right now and I figured I'd show y'all all the meal options and we decide which one I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I've talked to you guys a little bit about Factor, actually a lot of it, because both Jay and I love them. I normally do the calorie smart ones, which I think they're always like 550 calories and below, which I like because those kind of are like within my range of what fits in my macros. And then also they are like the correct portion size for me. But they have so many different options on Factor and I love them when I want something quick but they're never frozen always fresh which that's something I definitely look for when I'm doing a meal prep company because a lot of times if they're frozen meals they just they taste freezer burn they don't taste fabulous but these are great for lunch or after a long day like today I've been running all over the place and the last thing I want to do is prep anything or clean up after and Sometimes I'll just pop them in the microwave. Sometimes I'll throw them in the oven if I'm really wanting to spend an extra couple of minutes. But let's decide which one we're going to have. There's a couple in here that I'll like call dibs on. Oh yeah, the shredded chicken taco bowl. That's the one I normally call dibs on. That's probably gonna be the one that I have. Jay, there's a, there's a shredded chicken one. Remember, we always love that one. And then Jay had the stuffed pepper casserole one last time and liked that, but he liked my chicken one better. Spicy Poblano beef bowl ooh, with roasted broccoli, rice, and scallion sour cream. And then we have chipotle queso chicken. Ooh, wait, that sounds good too. With Mexican cauliflower rice and roasted zucchini. A lot of times I'll get like such good meal inspo and ideas from these as well. There's so many different options. And then this one's broccoli cheddar, ground beef with chili, garlic, zucchini, and red peppers. Hmm, I think I'm gonna stick to my tried and true, which is the shredded chicken taco bowl. And I think that I'm just going to pop this in the microwave. I think last time I did it in the oven, but we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do the microwave and have dinner in a whopping couple minutes okay i'm gonna put these ones away and then the chipotle queso chicken one is the one that jay's gonna have in a couple minutes he said he's gonna be ready for dinner but these ones are really great for like jay has to go to the office sometimes for work and he will just bring those throw them in the microwave because they're easy on the go and then for me i do not like stopping in the middle of the day and prepping food so i want something quick and easy but they don't just have the calorie smart ones you can do keto you can do the vegan and veggie one they have a protein plus one which normally will do a calorie smart 
smart one for me and then the protein plus one for Jay because he can eat like a couple of these and still be hungry because he eats so much so he does something more like a protein plus option and a little bit heftier of meals so mine just got done in the microwave wow this smells so good all right here's the final product and it's honestly such a good portion size for a meal prep because sometimes they're like so small that you feel like you need to add to it all i did was some spring mix because i love like making a little taco bowl moment but you can go to factor75.com and use code sydneyadams50 to get 50% off of your factor box which is absolutely amazing and i actually recommend this to a lot of my clients who say that they have a hard time hitting their goals because they go into the office or a lot of my teacher clients and people who are on the go and it just is not really realistic a lot of moms that just can't take the time to prep so this is definitely one of my top recommendations for them as well thank you so much factor for sponsoring today's youtube video I'm gonna eat. Should we do a little taste test moment before I let y'all go? Mm, mm, mm. Even though I've shown you guys this exact same meal three times now. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm, mm, mm. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I'm headed to the gym right now and we've got back and buys this morning need a good workout this morning because i really have a long to-do list today of kind of random things but i know i'm going to be at my computer a lot today so i want to get some good movement and get like the beginning of the day jitters out you know Look what I just got. I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh. So it is a sleep set from set. Oh my gosh. This feels so comfortable. What the heck? I need to set you guys up. Okay. Short sleeve shirt. This actually feels like comfier than skims. Wow. 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 And then some little shorts. Another pair of shorts. A little tank y'all this material what the heck and then a pair of pants okay I'm obsessed I'm obsessed okay a few things so I was kind of talking quietly when I was opening up my set active package because we had the plumber here our uh, sinks like something was going on with the water pressure on the sink so he was here and I was I was like he probably thinks I'm such a weirdo in here I'm like here are the pajamas y'all look at how good these are <laughs> and you guys are probably like why are you whispering girly because you're normally screaming um, okay a couple different things I know that I have instacart come every other day you guys are like how many groceries do you need and the thing is is that I thought you know, Jay and I don't normally do our groceries together because I was doing uh, I was doing Whole Foods for so long. And a bunch of y'all said, you guys were like, you're buying the same things that you would get at like Sam's Club in bulk and you're buying the same things that you could get at Publix for way cheaper, which Publix is still kind of pricey, but Publix like has always has like buy one, get one on so many different things. Like on my Mulk, if they have buy one, get one on my Mulk, it's done with, we're getting 500. But a couple different things I got, Jay needed ground turkey and I bought enough for, I bought enough for an army over here a while ago. No, a couple days ago. And I was like, oh, we're gonna ground turkey for quite some time. And then Jay said to me this morning, man, I'm screwed for meals. I don't have any ground turkey left. I'm like, are you kidding me? How do you eat that much ground turkey? It doesn't even make sense. Um, but I also am trying out these hint uh, my best friend from like growing up, which I don't know if you guys remember Lexi. I showed her at my birthday vlog last year, not this past birthday. Last year she came and visited me um, when I lived at the apartment. But she told me she like is doing coaching with me. I'm um, 
telling her drink more water and she's like do the hint things work like the hint waters do those count and i was like i i honestly don't even know what those are so i am giving them a shot and i got some cherry and then i also got blackberry hint so we're gonna stock the fridge up with some drinks of course i got some olipop i got some orange squeeze strawberry vanilla and then my back has been bothering me so so much i mean you guys have probably heard me since i moved in the week i moved in my back and neck were really really bad but they i mean i will say that it's hurting just as badly as what it was that week now and i had like a couple weeks of like somewhat relief and now it just feels like i've always had pain in my back and my shoulder for years and years like when i was in college so it was my sophomore year not me stretching um it was my sophomore year of college when i went to alabama i got in a car accident and the car hit me i was in the passenger seat the car t-boned us on our on this side obviously that i was in and my whole right side of my body just was like covered in bruises it was ter it was a really bad accident and my back hurt for so long and i was going to a chiropractor pretty much like two times a week or so and I honestly just like didn't I was trying to go through the insurance of like the driver this is a really random story but I was trying to go through the insurance of the driver for chiropractor because I couldn't really afford it all and then like they gave me fake insurance it was this entire thing it was so bad but long story short I should have 100% gotten my back checked out then because I'm going on that was five years ago like five years ago and my back has been hurting consistently since and I also think it's because I edit in this hand so when I'm walking on the treadmill or when I'm on my phone my mom pointed it out to me she's like you do always hold this arm kind of to like edit and then you have your other arm down here and that could be part of it too but it's always been this side. Like I remember when I was like 20, 21, right after that accident, I would always do this to kind of like get some relief and like this, like I'll kind of like push, I don't know, I need to go to a doctor. I really, I put off going to the doctor for things like that because I'm actually kind of used to the pain, not used to it, it still sucks, but I just, I kind of put it on the back burner. I'm like, what, what can I even have done? It definitely is worth going to a doctor for. So I got some of this Tiger Balm pain relief ointment, 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 okay, ointment. And then I got Biofreeze. I don't know. I, I really don't know what I should be using on this. And then hot and cold reusable pack. I'm just going to try and get in with a doctor. Jay goes to a chiropractor every week, so like maybe start a chiropractor. But I don't know. I don't feel like that's going to, I don't feel like I need my back cracked. And I know a chiropractor does more than that, but... Yeah, there's my little random update in the middle of a grocery haul just because I wanted to show you my Tiger Balm, whatever that is. We've got some spinach, some spring mix, some carrots, and then some sour cream for, we're gonna do a taco night. We actually were gonna do Taco Tuesday last night, but we decided to put it off until Jay's mom gets here. I'm gonna put this stuff away. Oh, and I also, well, let me put this stuff away real quick. Okay, I also got a new aura ring. Uh, my mom was here and I was telling her that I'm no longer doing silver jewelry. And I have this one from David Yearman. It has both silver and gold, but I honestly just want it to be all gold jewelry. I mean, I'll keep wearing this one, but I was like saying how my silver ring is, or my aura ring is silver and how I don't ever wear it anymore because I don't like how it looks with all my jewelry and I like did not think that through when I decided to switch over all my jewelry. And she was like, wait, I've been wanting to get a, an aura ring. And so it worked out really well. She can have my silver one. Her jewelry is all silver for the most part. And then I ended up getting the gold one. I'm a size seven. I don't know if that helps you guys for like reference on ring finger, but I did size seven last time and I did size seven this time too. So I'm definitely going to set that up this probably, honestly, probably today. And then I'm going to ship out mine to my mom. I should have just had her bring it home with her, but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I didn't have her bring it home with her. I think because I couldn't find the charger or something. So yeah, I'm gonna send that out to her along with a couple other things. I'm gonna do a little bit of computer work. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Not much happening over here. Jay is, he's doing showings and stuff. So kind of quiet here today. And uh, really just a lot of computer work. 
a lot of it and it is hotter than Hades out. I was saying that I like to like break up my work day and go out and walk, uh, which I definitely plan on doing, but I'm like, I just walked outside to grab those groceries from the Instacart lady and I started sweating from those two seconds. <laughs> Before I put this away, I need to brainstorm what the heck I'm gonna wear next week for we're going to the Luke Combs concert. How cute is this skirt? But y'all, I have a pair of white cowboy boots or cowgirl boots that I think I can make this into like the cutest outfit. I just don't know what to wear on top. Okay, so here are the boots. I mean, of course they're not like white, but they're, I guess what, like a cream. I think that that would still look really good. I don't know if I wanna do like an all white set and I've actually never even worn these. They're Tacovas, And I don't know if you guys remember when I went to a concert Mm, Jay and I went to the Chris Stapleton concert and I have really wide calves and the ones that I got from Revolve they were like so tight on my calves <laughs> do we recall and I they actually sent these to me which is crazy because Tacovas are insanely insanely nice and if I were to wear like just a white top I think that that would look good together or if I were to wear like a jean top but it's so hot so I don't know I'll have y'all help me brainstorm for the next couple days I'm also gonna look at some Pinterest ideas. And then here's a better look at the Set Active PJ sets. Y'all, I'm not even joking. You guys know I'm a boyfriend collection until the day I die with skims for pajamas. But these feel honestly very similar, but almost it's, I don't know. They almost feel like softer than the skims ones. Maybe because they're brand new and maybe that's why. I will keep you guys posted on these, but also the fact that they're pink. We're we're entering our color. We're already in the colorful era. I keep saying that. Like I have been so much more colorful. And the Skims ones that I got in pink. I don't know if you guys remember when they came out with like the the pink set uh, with the boyfriend collection. I accidentally washed them with dark colors, and they turned actually tie dye looking. So those are no longer with us. So this was just meant to be. All right, making some lunch. It is so incredibly gloomy out. I keep saying, I'm like, does it always rain this much, storm this much in Florida around this time of year? Because I don't really remember from last year, but I do know it did rain kind of a lot when I first moved here, but that was in April. So I don't know, it's like almost July. How long is this gonna go on for? I'm gonna do some spring mix and some avocado, and then it's this pepper and green bean meal that I have from Factor. I actually wasn't planning on doing a lunch of a Factor meal because I was gonna prep ground turkey to have, but I uh, forgot to thaw it out. So we are going to do this little meal prep meal, add some avocado. Sam's Club avocados are unmatched. They really are, they're just absolutely huge. Someone told me to not get the ones with the stickers on it. They were like, don't get avocados that have stickers on it. And I'm kind of confused. I'm like, wait, I don't, I don't even know what that means. Don't they all, don't they, every avocado I've ever seen has stickers on it. And she's like, it means it has something toxic in it, which I just, y'all will have to, y'all will have to let me know if that's the thing. Cause I have never, I'm not saying she's false about it. I just have never seen avocados that don't have stickers on it, to be honest. Okay, these green beans have like some onions on it, which looks really good. Here's the meal. I'm having one of those days that I'm just dragging a little bit, to be honest. It feels like the bare minimum is like taking so much out of me. I don't know if it's the weather or what it is, but I am feeling, I'm feeling beat. I really am avocado and then here's this meal right here i'm gonna sit down and eat oh i actually want to try that hidden water really quick this one's blackberry it's cold by now what does it even like how does it taste like this hmm i actually like that It definitely is subtle. It doesn't give me the same vibe as LaCroix because LaCroix has like is sparkling and this obviously isn't. And sometimes sparkling water like makes me feel bloated. I don't know if that's normal at all whatsoever. But anyways, I'm gonna sit down and eat and we really do not have anything else going on for the rest of the day. I have a call at five o'clock, I think is what that time, or is what time that is at. And that is to go over some stuff with 
Hannah, which she is the one who is helping me with branding, website, all the things. And we're gonna go over a game plan for like how to do all of my graphics for like to know it, how to have everything very organized so that my blog posts and everything is kind of easy to get through and understand because like I have a couple people that I look at their like to know it and it is so organized and mine is normally just like a screenshot of a video that I'm wearing that outfit and I want to be more I want to be more organized for you guys because I've been doing like to know it for a long time and if you're new here like to know it or if you don't know what like to know it is Amazon storefront like to know it kind of give me the same vibe like they're kind of just where you keep all of your different links and outfits and everything and photos you can do photos of it and then link the stuff so that people when they watch your videos or if you're talking about something they have a spot to go reference it and purchase what you are talking about so uh like to know it is that there's like shop my and there's like some other ones too but i pretty much use like to know an amazon storefront as my main ones but she's gonna help me get a little bit more organized with that because she's good about like all the graphics and whatnot that go into it so um, I'm gonna sit down and eat for the 10th time and then I keep jibber jabbering and I think that I'm actually going to end off this vlog. I, other than that, I got some stuff in from Amazon to replace the things in my Tenneco, which is like my vacuum mop thing. So that is what I'm doing after that. We don't need to see that. There's literally nothing else happening. I'll be on my computer, clean up some, and the fact that it's raining, I feel like this is a good day to just get stuff done. But I'm not gonna be like organizing or anything that I can show you. It's just gonna be emails, so that's no fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love y'all so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. And actually, this weekend's gonna be really fun because Jay's mom's coming in town and we've got tons of fun stuff coming up. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna do like end of the week weekend vlog type thing starting tomorrow, which is Thursday. So maybe like a Thursday through Sunday action. I love y'all and see y'all then. Bye.